Welcome to the Kinney News Weekly Wrap-Up for November 13th through 17th. We'll spend this week in Denver, where the 2023 Kinney Lending Council Conference just wrapped up. Deputy Editor Bill Merrick was there to hear what matters most to today's credit union lenders and leaders. We'll hear about the four main components of self-leadership from Maven Leadership's Nicole Bruzewitz and Kirtland Credit Union's Sarah Horton and why relationships matter to a panel of business members. Author and former Navy SEAL Chad Williams also left conference attendees with seven principles that translate from the battlefield to the business world. First, stories and sounds from the Kenan Lending Council Conference. Chad Williams, author and former Navy SEAL, told attendees that the most important factor for success is desire. He spoke about desire while sharing his journey from a failing community college student to a member of the world's most elite fighting unit, culminating in a harrowing last mission to capture a suicide bomb maker in Iraq. He believes many of the principles he learned in the service translate to the business world. His seven maxims for the business battlefield start with aim small, miss small. Visit news.kino.org to read the rest and learn how to go for something greater than yourself. Nicole Bruzeritz, founder of Maven Leadership, believes the four main components of self-leadership are self-knowledge, self-management, self-development, and intentional action. She joined Kirtland Credit Union Chief Lending Officer, Sarah Horton, in Denver to discuss these components, what they learned from their leadership mistakes, and advice leaders can follow to expand their impact. Here's a clip from the conversation. You know, one of the things that I think is so incredibly beautiful about the credit union industry is it's big enough to make an impact and yet small enough that anyone can make an impact. And so don't sit on the sidelines thinking that other people are the ones who are going to be called into the game to the play. You know, we really need everyone to lean in and provide their strengths. Relationships matter for business members, according to a panel of member business leaders who say shared values and deplorable bank behavior drive business leaders to credit unions. Every big bank in the U.S. talks about relationships and customer service, says Charlie Williams, Executive Managing Director of Multifamily Capital Markets at Newmark. They mean people who have substantial deposits. They cater to their institutions, not people. When we contact Belco Credit Union, we get a live person. Relationships matter. That's what's beautiful about credit unions. This week on the Kenan News Podcast, we have a conversation with Invisent President and COO Libby Calderon. The fraud arms race is a never-ending battle. Calderon goes over the trending new types of fraud, how credit unions can combat them, and how Invisent can help. Check out this clip from the episode. There's always so much fraud happening out there, and really an age-old one that we're starting to hear about now, but it's been around forever, is check fraud. Just good old-fashioned check fraud where uh, the bad guys are recreating checks. We're hearing a lot of stories where they're breaking into post office boxes and stealing legitimate checks that are within there. You know, just good old fashioned check fraud is up like 100% year over year. And a lot of credit unions now are starting to see that. Now over to CUNY Senior Editor of Public Affairs Communications, Alex McVeigh, for a look at what's happening in Washington, D.C. This week, CUNA presented at NCUA's public briefing for its proposed budget for 2024 and 2025. The proposed 2024 budget is a 9.3% increase over the 2023 budget. CUNA believes efficiency at NCUA is essential and that there is capacity for the agency to become a stronger, more effective regulator. We encouraged NCUA to maintain a focus on budgetary discipline, particularly with elevated financial pressure on credit unions and members. NCUA's budget summary and detailed justifications can be found on ncua.gov. In addition, CUNA will submit written comments on the proposed budget by the November 21st deadline. The board is scheduled to vote on a final budget at its December 14th meeting. Complete coverage of NCUA's proposed 2024-25 budget and this week's briefing can be found at news.cuna.org. Thanks, Alex. Our credit union of the week is Mazuma Credit Union. The $957 million asset credit union in Overland Park, Kansas, recently celebrated its 75th anniversary. In 1948, Joe Pinkerton formed the Kansas City National Federation of Federal Employees Credit Union with the goal of making Kansas City a better place to live, work, and bank. Clarence H. Plaskett's $5 share deposit made him the first charter member of the credit union. Pinkerton and his wife, Wyla, recruited more members by going from one railroad station to the next, collecting deposits in a shoebox. 
The name changed to Mizuma, the Yiddish word for money, in 1998. Learn more at www.mizuma.org. All right, that's it for this week's wrap up. Come back next week for more from the Lending Council Conference and our salute to veterans. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend. To stay up to date on these stories and more, subscribe to Credit Union Magazine, visit news.cuna.org, and listen to the CUNA News Podcast at news.cuna.org slash podcasts. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out the description for links to everything discussed in this video.